Well, welcome back to the big board. Thought we'd uh, do a summation of some gameplay and uh, sort of uh, first impressions on uh, Crowbar, but in particular, since I know that there are a lot of folks who are vloggers and have uh, access to this game now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus in on, whoops, he said, showing you the cover the crowbar expansion. I think most folks are probably gonna do video on uh, the crowbar base game. This this, this uh, expansion looks at uh, the battle from the other side, right? So it's the counterattacks and the uh, actions of the Germans against the Rangers as they've approached and uh, got up on top of, generally speaking, the cliff and advanced. So, you know, Rudder's Rutter, boys are kind of holding off against the the attacks. Now, the cool thing is basically the same rules. There are some things to keep track of that are a little bit different. There are uh, different uh, things you do in the act, certain action stages and for certain event cards. You know, you take out, for instance, you take out all the time to in increment time increments because it, they're much shorter scenarios. Uh, and the event cards will have different actions that you have to execute against and things of that nature. So um, all in all, I, I did the, I played the original sort of prototype, a draft that was very close to being ready for Kickstarter and I was given an opportunity to have access to it and uh, I did some, uh, I think I wrote up some stuff and did a quick video and probably wasn't playing the game terribly well and not playing the game terribly well here either. I haven't really managed to be successful as the Germans yet. Uh, there's There's a... There's a structure, there's a structure to using these dice that I've almost solved it, but I'm on my third, this is my third play and uh, I'm, I'm probably ready to pack this one up because I'm, I've got to, unfortunately I have uh, other stuff I have to do. So uh, if you are into push your luck systems, if you are into gorgeous components, if you are into uh, this particular, uh, theme and uh, situation and you're a solitaire war gamer I think you're going to love Crowbar and the Volvox uh, uh, expansion it's, it's fabulous uh, my only quibble is going to be this and it's nothing to do with the gameplay because the gameplay if you actually read the rules Kevin <laughs> read the rules correctly and uh, you know what I probably should have done was uh, jumped in and, and played it played it again to refresh my memory on how it worked and just played the normal game with, you know, the fox and dog and easy company and just played it normally and then done the Volvat stuff. Uh, yeah, that probably would have been the smart way to go about it. But, you know, jumping in uh, straight off to this was probably a bit of a mistake. So it took, a, took me a little bit longer right, to get familiar with what uh, I should be doing and get the most out of the gameplay. But I think my point I was about to make was if uh, the, my only quibble with all of this is it's, I, it feels uh, to me that it's somewhat an expensive uh, uh, endeavor to purchase. But, uh, you know, and big caveat here, but uh, given that uh, just in two or three days, I've had, uh, this is my, I said my third play, I've got uh, I've got lots of value out of it. I haven't even tried the the standard game. I haven't uh, attempted to do any sort of co-op style play, which you know looks interesting, but that's probably not something I'm gonna you know I don't know if I want to you know sit next to someone and hold hands and try and you know drive the try, <laughs> drive Fox Company across the map. Oh, would you like this card? Oh no no you go ahead. Oh no I insist. Uh, so I'm not gonna do that. I don't think. Anyway. Uh, Tongue in cheek there, guys. Uh, so this, so my point is, you know, look, just look at these, 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 uh, the artwork and uh, the map and everything is extremely well done. Uh, and once you solve this conundrum with the dice, how to use them effectively, uh, then you're off to the races. Your guys are still going to die horribly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You know, it, it's brutal, and particularly the Germans, they don't start, some of them don't start out particularly strong. You've got a, <coughs> this guy started out as a five. You know, his, his sec, he's been sitting here, I haven't done anything with him. Uh, he, he's, he's down to a three, I've got to rally him. 
uh, bring this up here this turn and rally him and get him up to a five before he can try taking on Fox Company. Uh, anyway, uh, so look, good rule book, full color, uh, good expansions. Uh, w I would have almost wondered why we couldn't just, if you were going to buy the expansion, and that may be a logistical thing, you know, why you don't just get it in the box, right? Because it's just, you know, it's another box that like you're going to manage on the, on the bookshelf, which looks really cool, but it's another box. Uh, the crowbar box is huge. Look at that bad boy. Huge. It's awesome. And that's a big, deep, I think that's a three inch box or something like that. That's what I tell my wife. Uh, the t time increment charts and things of that nature, all very clear and useful. I would have thought this would have been nice as a foldable sort of cardstock thing. That would have been a nicer touch there. But other than that, the dice are great. Dice roll well. I would definitely use a die tower, dice tower for these because uh, they are quite square. Uh, unlike the, say, the OST dice that are more rounded, these guys are a little squarer. So you're gonna want a dice tower. Uh, what I was gonna tell you, uh, I've had a lot of fun with it. You, uh, it's a, if you are a solitaire war gamer, you're gonna dig this because you're gonna get tons of replay value because of there's so many things that are variable here. You've got, uh, first of all, and you also have choices to be to be made, which is the most important aspect for me as far as I'm concerned when it comes to a solitaire game. If I'm not, if I'm just playing the AI for you, screw that. Who wants to do that? Uh, that's, a, that's like B17, right? Or uh, RAF Battle of Britain. Fantastic popular games build a great narrative, well agreed. But in terms of intellectual curiosity and choice making, extremely limited. Here, because of the choices you need to make about whether you're gonna try and basically push your luck or consolidate, and all the different event cards that are uh, all upside down, uh, all these different event cards, and the uh, die rolling that you've got, and your choices that you get to make, this is an expansion die, uh, the choices you get to make about are you gonna you know, be super risky or super conservative? Uh, what, what are you gonna do first? Are you going to go hard first and then go soft and then do this and then do this? Or are you going to just, you know, uh, start easy and then build up and, and push your luck that way? Fantastic idea. Uh, so I would like to see more games in this vein and this theme with this uh, level of amazing quality. You know, this board is super thick and robust and beautifully well done. All right, I've raved on enough about it. Oh, I do have to say, and just a, as a full disclosure, right? I didn't order this because it, cash was tight at the time. And uh, this is a complimentary copy that was sent to me by uh, uh, Flying Pig Games. And so very appreciative of that. Thank you, Mark, for doing that. And Herman, thank you for sending it to me. I uh, definitely appreciate the opportunity to uh, play the game and have access to it. It'll stay on the shelf. I, I won't be flipping it. And uh, it, it's, as I said, it's much appreciated. Uh, so all in all, as a solitaire war gamer, I would say you have got a very, very nice package here, and the gameplay is uh, in uh, is difficult and thematic and interesting and uh, tense. So it has the, all that going for it, as long as you're prepared to pay the price for it. So uh, all the very best. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers.